been afraid to ask something and you've been afraid to just to, to inquire about something, but it's something you really wanted to know. However, you know what? You're afraid of what the person might think about you. So today I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you like I always do. I'm going to give you the game, but this game is really good because you can use it in any part of your life. Now, I, I premised, I did a little marketing and said the one question men don't want to hear. And that's true. But this, it's not what you think. It's not the question like, you know, what are we doing? You know how women, a lot of times women will ask this question. So what are we doing? What are we doing? What, 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 so what are we doing? So, 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 so what are we doing? So where are we headed? Where are we going with this? We've been, you've been, we've been knocking boots. You've been hitting this thing, knocking out the bunks. So where are we going? You know, it's not that question. It's not that question. It's not the other question. How do you see us? Do you see us being together? Do you see us getting married? Not that question. No, none of that. None of that stuff. All of that stuff men are used to and they skirt around it. So now I am going to tell you how to solve conflict, how to get what you want, how to know what you want, need to know. And it's one question. That's all I'm going to focus on today. Just one. And so, but... Before I tell you what the question is, I'm going to tell you, well, I think I'll tell you the question and then I'll tell you why you need to ask it. I will tell you the question and then I will tell you why you need to ask it. Does anybody, before I go on, have any idea of what the question is? I want, before I give it to you, I want to give it a little drama, a little drama. You want to know the answer to something and you ask it in a way that actually lets the other person off the hook. And so what what I always tell people is let me let me let me show you how to ask any question if you want any answer. And all of it boils down to this. So let's like let, let's say you want to know um, you and him having a conversation of where the relationship is going. Okay? Or you want to know anything. Here's the question and this is the question. Ha! That's the magic question. Ain't nobody <laughs> answer it. Don't answer. No, no, no. I'm going to give it to you, Simon. No, I'm going to give it to you. And here's the question. And I thought about this, and I've used this several times with my clients. And let me give you the background. So my client was trying to figure out the behavior of another person. What do they think about the relationship? What about this? What about that? And then I said, I said, what you're trying to ask them, you're trying to ask them something and you are trying to figure out based on their answer what you should do. All right. Is that fair? Yeah. Because you want to know based on the answer given, you want to act appropriately. You want to behave appropriately. And many times you don't have the answer to what you want. How many men have you slept with? Ooh, that was a straight. Okay, I got you. I know. All right. So get this. So you're in this any serious conversation and you're talking to the person about where we're going. I always tell people, ask this question. It doesn't matter what you're what, what you're trying to find out. You ask the question because you because at the end of the day, you're attempting to figure out what you should do, but you need a piece of information to figure out what to do it. So this question leads you to everything else. Okay. So here's the, here's the question. The question is, is it's simple, but it's magical. Here it is. If you were me, what would you do about blank, blank, blank? Now listen to what I just said. If you were me, what would you do about our relationship? How would you move forward? If you were me, what would you do? Now listen to what I just said. The reason why this question is so very powerful, I'm going to give you the reasons. And see, you might think, huh? That's all? That's all, yes. But here's why nobody ever asked this question. Because what it does, it does three things. Number one, it puts the onus on the person to take responsibility of an action. Okay, so now when I say, if you were me, what would you do? Okay, now all of a sudden, it puts the onus on them to determine the behavior that I should interact, the, the behavior that I should use moving forward, the behavior that I should exhibit moving forward. Because when I ask you, if you were me, based on what you've seen, based on what we've done, if based on that, what would you do? Okay, now, 
you, it's so powerful because not only does it put the onus on them, to it makes them assume the role, my role. It causes them to assume my role. And what I do is, I, and they might say, well, I don't know, I ain't you. But I, was, I said, no. And then I go back to the question. And that based on what I've seen, based on this knowledge that we have about this situation, if you were me, how would you handle it? If you were me, what would be your next move? If you were me, would you see somebody else? So now listen to what I just did. I only put the onus on them, one. Number two, what I've also done is I put them in my shoes. I, I made them assume the responsibility of the other person's emotions and feelings without ever saying, you got to feel what I feel. I don't have to say that. Y'all, this is so powerful. Whoa, this is powerful. You don't have to say, you're going about it all wrong. All of y'all are saying, you don't know how I feel. We don't know how I feel. No, I don't know how you damn feel. And right now, but now I don't look like the angry person when I say, if you were me, how would you feel if somebody slept with someone else? If you were me, how would you feel if someone else was getting, you know, dick pics and puss, you know, all, all pictures? What would you do? And see, y'all, now I make the other person responsible for my feelings without telling them to be responsible. <laughs> boy, you good, Kenyon. Dr. Kenyon, you good as hell, boy. I ain't gonna even lie. I know I'm good. <laughs> it's worked for many people that I that I that I coach because then it's subtle, y'all. It is so subtle. It's just like it's like it's just like one of the things I was teaching somebody in branding. I teach sales, I teach branding. I became I became a relationship coach after and and they don't answer. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what to do if they don't answer. Ooh, I gotta ask for everything, John. Okay, so look. So I was telling somebody about a, a branding technique, a question, and she was like, "Wow, the people that ask the questions control the conversation." Yes. They do. That's the seven powers of questions. One of them, you control the conversation. Now, John, to you. He says, what if they, uh, John says, and if they don't answer, here's what I do. I address them not answering. Here's what I do. I say, I see that you don't want to answer the question. I see that you don't want to answer the question. Is there a reason why you don't want to answer the question? Is the question offending you? I address the behavior, John. Now I put them back in the damn box. Because either they're going to tell me how they feel, uh, what, what they should do if they were me, or they're going to address why they want to answer the question. So I say, well, obviously you don't want to answer the question because you're not answering it. And there's a reason why. Can you tell me the reason why you don't want to answer the question? Oh, uh, oh, 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 yo, this works. It's deep. So now here's the third thing that it does. Now, the reason why it's ultimately important is because now, you know how sometimes when somebody gets angry and you don't hear their message, you just see the anger on their face. And so you focus on the messenger and not the message. When you ask the questions the way I just told you to ask it, now you focus on the message and not the messenger. Now, I'm not angry. So, you know, because because what, 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 what men try to do and women, what men try to do is flip it. You always get mad. So now we're talking about your mad, your emotions, but we're not talking about the issue. And so now when you ask it like that, you keep your emotion out of it. And now we're focusing on the message and not the messenger. Oh, my goodness. Send me an offering. Cash out. Ken Canyon Group. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you. What I know, people pay me a lot of money because I'm good at this. And because I know, I understand human behavior. I've read over 1,500 books in the area of human behavior alone. I've written nine of them. I understand why we do what we do. I understand why I do what I do. Even my shortcomings, I have to realign my thoughts and emotions. And I've done that recently. I've done that recently. My outcome has been amazing, y'all. Amazing. I have began to manifest the things I want in my life. I'm going to tell you something. All of this stuff that I'm talking about doing is about realigning your thoughts and emotions, period. Sometimes it's your emotions that keep you from asking that simple question that I posed today. 
It's your emotions because your mind, your your thoughts are, they're not going to listen anyway. Well, the truth of the matter is, well, why are we doing this anyway? If you're not willing to do something different, why are we doing what we're doing anyway? It doesn't make sense. And so what I'm saying is be willing to do it. So listen, y'all, we're doing a Manifest Your Life class. The class is closed. We got two more people in this week. It's done. You can't get in the class at all. But the class is just the second week. It's going to be, oh my God, our, our students in the class, the students, y'all on this call, it's going to get deeper and deeper and deeper. And you're going to be able to create everything you want. I promise you. But for those who can't get in the class, we finished the master class. I put the link up here. The master class is the class that we did based on the ebook. We wrote an ebook called Manifest Your Life. The people who are in the class, you'll be able to get it. We'll talk about it tonight. Um, but if you're interested in that class, it's a it's a it's a three hour class, y'all. Three hours. We we did a commentary on how to manifest the things you want. Be it a date, be it be it uh, more money, all of that in the class. We did the class, and the class is um, we, we created a master class. It's three hours long. It comes along with the ebook. It comes along with an hour worth of coaching. It's dope. If you're interested in it, look at the look at the in my feed or inbox me. Inbox me if you're interested in that class, uh, the uh, the master class that we did. It's so dope. But um, if you're already in our class, we'll talk about how you can get it tonight. So we're gonna give you that option tonight. But other than that, y'all, I hope you've enjoyed this today because today is really, sometimes I, I think about the things that I do and I want to give y'all practical tips that work. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not about, I'm about practicality, y'all. I am about practicality. I am about doing what works, period. I'm good at that. And I truly believe that we can have what we want in life. We just got to be willing to work for it. We got to be willing to work for it. And uh, I got more coaching clients than I can take. Um, and I just feel like let's do the world a service. You know, there's some, I don't know why I'm going down this road, but there's some of you who have a gift inside of you that the world needs to see. But you're afraid. You're living in fear. Time, we don't know how much time we have. We don't. But God has put you here to do something special and spectacular. There is going to be no perfect time to do it. The only time is now. The only time you have is the present. That's why the present is a gift. Um, the past is gone. The future isn't guaranteed. All you have is the day, the present. Listen, if you're interested in changing your life, inbox me. Let's talk about it. But the truth of the matter is I do this because I feel like I'm here for a greater purpose. And all of you are too. All right. That's my time today. Look, if you have any questions, you can always hit me up. All right, I'm done, y'all. I'm Ken Kenya, the host of Love, Lust, and Lies. And until tomorrow, remember, every journey starts with one step. Take yours today. Peace.